Okay, good morning. Uh, we're up to Simon Reish Mem Zayin Sif Base. So we said last time that Shalech Adam Igeres Biyad Eni Hudi, the Sif Aleph began uh, by saying that the person can send an Igeres with a non Jewish person. So long as you fix the price with this non Jewish person. Now, then in Sif Base, we're now explaining this a little bit more. If he, he agreed with him that he would pay him, even though he didn't say how much he'll pay him, that has the same halacha as in Sif Aleph, that you're allowed to send the non-Jewish person with this letter on Erev Shabbos, uh, so long as it's still daylight, and so long as it's cut to him. So agreeing a price, even though they're not fixing it, is sufficient. Why? Because already the non-Jewish person is doing it for the, 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 the payments he'll get, and therefore he's doing it adaita uh, d'nafshe, and that for, therefore it's okay. Avul bestam, but if uh, if you stam ask him to do it, and you haven't fixed any price, avul pisha yesh b'daita shiitz mischa. Even though he hopes he'll get payment, also the leisom chadaita will be Yisrael katarach, because in that situation he's doing it for the Yisrael, and that is always the problem scenario. Okay, says the Mishnah Brua, Sif Cotton Yud Base, Afa Pishi Yesh Badaita Rot Saloma, Lomi Boya im Eni Yudi Mistapik Klal, im Yit Nulos Charda Osa. Not only if he's unsure, im Yit Nulos Charda Osa, Ela Afibi, my Mistral, Maven Me Ashemetzapel Schar, me Yitai, even if he's sort of the Israel, uh, even if the Israel, um, Afibi Mistral, Maven Me Menu. That he, he understands If he hasn't yet promised him that he's going to pay him, that's not good enough. So you need either for the Jewish person to fix a price or to, to, to say that there's going to be payment, even though the actual amount is not uh, clarified. Gimel. Sif Gimel. Says the Mechaba. If you hire this non-Jewish person for a number of days, you pay him per day, you know, for, to work for you. But you're not, you're quite relaxed about the actual terms of the, of the agreement. So then, if it's Erev Shabbos, you can't send the letter with this person. Because otherwise, it looks like you've agreed that he's going out, you've told, told him to go out on Shabbos. Says the Mishnah Buryud Gimels in Schar Liyamim Rotzaleima. The Avshei Tanu Leel, even though we said previously, because that's Afilu Erev Shabbos, that if you fix the price, even though Erev Shabbos is okay, Hainu Kashekotes Lo Sach Kotz of Bad Pulos. You're you're paying him twenty pounds for this um, for this mission, to you know, for this assignment. To Oz Adaited and Avshei Ovid, and then for the non-Jewish person who's doing it for his own benefit, therefore no problem. For no Minka Klal Shamaloch and Asis for Shabbos. Because then it's clear that the Jewish, that the non-Jewish person is doing it for his own benefit and he's not doing an assignment to Shlichus of Israel. But if you hire him for a number of days, you pay him 20 pounds a day. Even though he's not, uh, you know, he, he, he's not marked with when exactly he does the job, and the non-Jewish person is pretty much doing it on his own Volition, uh, However, even in this scenario, when you uh, when you appoint him or employ him on erev Shabbos, it's a problem. because since he's going to go out immediately, it's, 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 it gives the impression that you've asked him to go on Shabbos, and that's what he's doing. You're giving him 20 pounds for the day and you tell him on Friday afternoon, it's as if you're saying to him, go on Shabbos, and therefore it looks dodgy. But Erev Shabbos, but on a Thursday, that would be okay. According to the Ramah, we said on, on the last time that even on a Thursday, that would be no problem. Okay, Dalit. What if this non-Jewish person says, no problem, I'll take your letter for you for nothing. Even if you gave it to him on Friday afternoon, there's no problem, that's okay. Because the non-Jewish person is doing it from his own uh, goodwill and he's not looking for payment. 
it's because he's only doing it for a favor that the Jewish person must have given him previously for Havaleki Ilu Kotsatz. And therefore, that's considered as if they fix the price because I'm doing it because this Jewish fellow did something for him previously, and that's Ki'ilu Kotsatz. Says the Ramah, for Yesh Cholkim. Others argue with Sri Luhu, the Chol Sha'isa Bechinam Asa. When the non Jewish person does it Bechinam for, for, for no payment, that's Asa. The Tovla Hachmir and. Um, and it's better to be machmel. But in a situation when the non-Jewish person maschil in Israel, I'll do it for free. Then that's clearly it's referring to a, he's, he's, he's sort of returning a good deed that the Israel did for him, and therefore that's considered kotzatz, and therefore that would be okay. All right, says the Mishnah Baruch on that. Shari Yoni Hudi may love. That means he's doing it on his own volition and uh, he's just doing it something that the Jewish person did for him. Pirush. So, the Jewish person is not forcing him to do this work. The non-Jewish person is just volunteering to do this delivery. To take the letter. For Tolinon, and we sort of assume that it's payback for a previous uh, goodness that the Israel did for this Eni Yehudi. And therefore, he's doing it on his own volition. However, the Ramos says, It's just good to avoid it. Uh, in a situation where this non-Jewish person is doing it for free, for chaim betaz mashma the daita kadeya rishona that the it's like the first opinion, like the mechaber that it's okay. Avo bedarkim moisha simon reishin and nun base mashma the daita who kiyesh cholkin that the the dark the rama who in his in the in the darkim moisha of course the darkim moisha and the base yosef is a pirush on the tour and the rama and the mechaber the rama wrote the darkim moisha and the and the mechaber wrote. The, the base Yosef. So, as long as you read the Dark Emotion, you can see more clearly what the Ramah really means. So, the Ramah in, in the Dark Emotion is going like the Yesh Cholk, and that it's Roy Lahachmir. For Chaim Belevush, Veli Rabbi Simon, Rabbi Simon Zer, Mashma to Asa Bechinam. They say if he's doing it for free, that it's Asa, Val Kain, Mehanochan, Sheyiktsev Loi, Al Kolponim, Ezadov, and Mut Avozer. In a situation when the non Jewish person says, Yep, yeah, I'll do it for free. And therefore, it's, it's, uh, that should be okay, according to Mechaba. says the Ramah, Yesh Machmirim. You should be, and, and this seems to be his preference, uh, his, prefer- his preferred view. And therefore, the best eight is just to fix the price, even a small amount, that would be okay. Because of Havik Kotzas, Kivin Shekil Alev, Shayel is a Schar of Chain Kosov, and the Chayodim says the same thing. Good. Okay, says Hey, Sif Hey. If the non-Jewish person is going to this place anyway, and the Jew gives him the Igeris, that's no problem. Yeah, you hear the non-Jewish person is, is off to Minsk or wherever it is, and uh, you say, can you take this letter? That is okay. Why? Says the Mishnah Barasif Kotten Yudzayin. Because I guess it's all adaited, it's clearly adaited in Afshay. Also, if He's going to have to extend his, uh, yeah, the trip is going to be longer, you're going to have to go, go on a detour, then that's the problem. Bechol Gavni, Haino Afilo Lo Kotzat, it would be allowed if the fellow happens to be going and you just give it to him, even if you don't fix the price, let's know Schar El Bestama, to Kaimel on Besifalov, to also Lishlech Al Yodre Kishen Kavu Beidoya. The whole problem is when there's no postmaster in town, that's what we said last time, what's the whole concern? To Chashin and Shemelo Yim Tseenu Bebeisei, he might not find. Um, the, 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 the fellow in the house, and therefore on Shabbos he'll be running around looking for this, uh, the, 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 the recipient of the letter. And here we allow it. Because here in Sif Hei, he's, he's not going on an assignment from the Jewish person. He just went on his own back. On his own volition, but vada im lo yim so en lo yach pesachrov. So therefore, I, I'm not I'm not going to start looking for him because I wasn't sent to do this. But davkim yesh shuhus lagir shame boidiyim. Again, only if there was time on the erev Shabbos. Avlim ein shuhus lagir shame boidiyim also after there, because if there was no time to to deliver this before Shabbos, after ali chos b'shvil atzmah. True, the going was on his own uh, volition for the non-Jewish person. He just was going there anyway. But me, car- but this non-Jewish person carrying the letter was on behalf of the Israel, and therefore, if there was not time before Shabbos, then that's going to be a problem. Vada, 
to listen to Shabbos also to Kula Alma, for you to give the letter to the non-Jewish person to take on Shabbos itself is also. Even, even if the non-Jewish person is going on his own, even if we had agreed a price before Shabbos, and therefore, to give a letter on, on a, through a post, Shabbos, um, that is a problem. When we are of Shabbos, is muta, but on Erev Shabbos it would be okay to pop a letter in the letterbox. While our post have a Tomid Kotzatz, because it's always considered Kotzatz. Uh, you fix the price. You've got a first class stamp or whatever it is. Da'af im de'ena meshalim kan, even though you're not paying over him, mikol mochim yistorech l'shalem mishen nishtalech lo'i, afidu mochim sh'yish Erev. The recipients, you know, will have to pay, even if there is an Erev, he'll, he'll have to pay for it. Therefore it's considered Kotzatz. V'afidu al yidei eni yehudi osu dovazer, uh, that would be a problem. If it's on Shabbos itself, uh, fixing a price is not going to help you. If there is a Hefzid Godel, then you would be allowed to have a Shvus to Shvus Seda. Because it's always a, it's, the whole thing is a Shvus to Shvus, and therefore Mokam Seda would be allowed. The Muta. Because you're designating work for him to do on uh, Shabbos itself. Okay, let's just finish off the simon. And this is, comes, this brings a conclusion to this whole sugya of, of letters and of uh, uh, getting the non-Jewish person to work and all of that. And then in Mitzvah Hashem tomorrow, we're talking about uh, traveling on Fridays and things like that, which is, uh, which is very, actually, halacha l'maysa. Okay, Vov, let's carry on. Let's just finish off the simon. Mishi yesh le sochir en Yehudi, le shona o If you've got a non-Jewish worker who's working for you for, let's say, a year, he's sort of, you know, he's, he's, he's helping in your house and you're paying him a yearly payment, also le shacha Erev Shabbos begeris. You can't send him on Erev Shabbos on this, uh, this mission to deliver a letter. Umiu says the remark, if you're only sending him to send the letter, so let's take a look. Um, because when you pay him for the year, you're giving him an amount for the year. That's not considered uh, a fixed amount. And therefore, all the halachas of Sif Aleph, where, which is Loi Kotzatz, apply. Here, we make and we say that it only, the only is is Erev Shabbos. So if you take a look in the Behalacha, he says, He says, Avur kol shana. Even though you did fix the price for his payment for the entire year's work, mikol makom loy chashvin and zekotz kasha kotzatz. This is not considered kotzitz. To ikka time of the kotzitz, the whole svara of kotzitz is mishum dein yisrael nafke minam zeh. You fix the price, and therefore that's what he's getting. To im loy yaseh biyom zeh yaseh biyamache. I fix the price, and you go deliver the letter. When you deliver it, I'm less bothered about. For any yudi adayt is enough she of it. And the non-Jewish person is doing it for his own benefit to get his payment. If he chooses to do it quicker, then he'll get his payment quicker. So it's adaited enough. But if this fellow is employed with you the entire year, then that that, that svara doesn't apply. So he does it a day earlier. So tomorrow we'll give him something else to do. He'll have other work to do. So the svara of him doing it early has gone out the window. And therefore, his, you, the Jew, are benefiting by this guy's work on uh, by doing it on Shabbos. And therefore, it's considered like a shliach. Fine. Let's just finish the 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 Mishnah Berurah. You've got Chof. So the Ramah says, "Miu im loy schar rakli shal le rakli shliach zegeris yesh matirin commotion is by leel." So that high nudeir is shoyin That was the first opinion brought in the beginning of the simon. The uh, svir lei. It's as if you have fixed the price. But again, as ever, you can't instruct him actually to say to him, go and deliver this on Shabbos morning, Shabbos afternoon, at the Canal Aleph. Okay, let's leave it there. Mr. Shem Reish Mem Ches tomorrow.